when it really comes down to what's been the, the biggest piece um, as far as learning for me, it almost feels like a trick question because there's been so much, it's hard to narrow down. But I would really have to say it's the power of great minds. You guys are some of the smartest educators I've ever met, smartest people in general. You guys have solved issues in ways that just never even dawned on me and put up resources and um, have made other educators better by, by what you've been able to develop. And I am in awe of the greatness that is the participants of AESA. Um, and that's probably been just listening and soaking up that knowledge, just asking a question of how did you solve this issue and just listening to what you all say. I have just learned so much and that's because you guys are so willing to share, whether it was the great folks in Ohio, whether it was the AESA women's group, whether it was just calling up different um, service centers of folks I hadn't even really met face to face yet who were so gracious with their time and willing to share. Um, and particularly an incident that stands out is, is while I know federal advocacy is a thing and I know that it's super important, I don't think I realize the power that AESA has in shaping that and how that directly impacts us um, at the local level at Region 10. And so um, getting able to get up to Washington, watch that play out, specifically for us, it was around the E-rate that was super critical for Region 10 in that time. Um, and, and then listening to the other issues that you guys were engaging in. I just can't say enough about A, how thankful I am, B, how changed I am, and C, how much I cannot wait to continue with AESA and just continue to, when, in a time when I wasn't sure how much more molding I could have into a great educator, how much shape there was left, um, it's really opened my eyes and motivated me to realize that you know, there's so much left and there's so much more to, to really understand and um, to learn and, and you guys, made that happen. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate a great year. I'll start with the obvious. This certainly wasn't a normal year. Um, with the change and challenges and upheavals of these times, the most valuable lesson I've learned is to first listen and then learn. I've had the opportunity to learn from colleagues from Connecticut and Pennsylvania, all the way out to Wyoming and Oregon and then put that listening into active learning, exploring ways that we can turn those shared ideas into services that will benefit the schools that we serve in our region. However, in the current landscape, where we're faced with more questions than answers, especially when it comes to challenges related to public health and to social justice, it's more important than ever for me to first listen and then learn. From getting a glimpse of how you're serving educators and children in this virtual online environment, uh, to gaining insight on your organization's stances and actions towards addressing equity in our communities, I've truly learned from you. The greatest learning is the fact that it is more important for me to identify ways in which I can grow than to identify the things that I can share. And this program has supported that idea in tremendous fashion. It's provided a safe and supportive environment for me to be able to say, I don't have the answers and I need your help. So to the AESA staff, to the program facilitators, and most importantly, to my fellow residents, I wanna say thank you again for the opportunity to listen to you and to learn from you. I am truly grateful.